Greetings indie warriors and welcome to I Dream of Indie Games. My name is Old Gamer Joe here to bring you another insane 50 indie game releases for the week of September 23rd through the 27th of 2024. I know these lists have had your wallets crying over the last few months, but don't hate the messenger, okay? Thank you so much for supporting independent content here at the channel. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you love indie gaming content as much as we do. And before we get into all of those incredible releases for this week, we do want to take just a quick moment to thank our wonderful indie sponsor for this video, Brave Traveler Games. Their upcoming indie release, Astro Mole, will be launching this week as well and fans of collectathon games with adorable mascots should take notice. Releasing on September 26th, this 2D platformer will have you playing as a mole named Chris, who comes equipped with his very own jetpack. You'll fly through the great unknown, traversing randomly generated levels and collecting items while avoiding obstacles that get in your way. That's right, you think you've learned these levels, huh? And you know where every collectible is? Fat chance. Items will be hidden in different locations each time you play the game. It's not just about collecting, however, as players will also encounter various challenges throughout their gameplay. Completing these challenges will net you Aster Jewels, which means further progression in the game. Your mole will also be upgradable. That's right, gems which you collect along with Star Stones can be turned into the mole mechanic who can offer you new upgrades and skills. Sounds like this game is deep, literally. This all sounds awesome, right? But here's the really good news. You don't even need to take my word for it. Astro Mole has a demo available on Steam right now for you to try completely free. So strap on that jetpack, Indie Warriors, and fly down to the description box below to use our link to the Steam page. And while you're there, wishlist the full game, because I just know you're going to love that demo. Once again, a very special thank you to Brave Traveler Games for sponsoring this video and supporting independent content such as this. Please enjoy Astro Mole when it launches later this week. And now, I bring you more pain for your wallet, because we're going to get into all of the indies. Alright, first up on our list, indie gamers, are you ready to get cozy? Sorry, I got a little carried away there for Tiny Glade releasing on September 23rd. Create whimsical dioramas of castles, cottages, and so much more with freeform, stress-free building. Tiny Glade features gridless building simulations, so your imagination is the limit, without having to worry about enemies or the usual restrictions in simulation games. Yes, this looks like a cozy game that is truly living up to the name. If cozy isn't so much your thing and you're craving a little more action in your indie games, well, we've got that for you too. Project Castaway is releasing into Early Access on the 23rd, dropping players into a castaway scenario that Tom Hanks would be proud of. Wilson! Anyone? Anyways, Project Castaway is a survival crafting simulation where you'll need to keep your wits about you and think on your feet to conquer the harsh environment. Swim, sail, gather resources, craft, and make sure you keep your sanity so the expansive ocean doesn't get the best of you. I've been watching a lot of Naked and Afraid lately, and this seems about as close as I would get to completing one of those challenges. Also entering early access on the 23rd is Witchfire, a first-person Souls-like shooter where you try to redeem your wicked, sinful soul by becoming a witch hunter. Defeating your foes will increase your power, and pushing yourself to your limit could pay off in a big way, or really set you back. A death will send you back to the battlefield with one chance to collect your lost loot. This one seems to have many of the classic trademarks of the genre, from a cryptic story to a dark theme and punishing combat system. While I'm a little apprehensive to try this one for myself, I know you Souls fans out there will get a kick out of it. We're all just trying to survive, aren't we? Yes, life ain't easy, but video games are always there for us in the hardest of times. It doesn't look like City 20 will be rainbows and sour patch kids either though, as you'll be attempting to survive in brutal worlds, unraveling a dark mystery. Make choices that will have an impact on the gameplay in this sandbox adventure. Carefully choose who to befriend and use your resources wisely. You'll be farming, hunting, and crafting while dealing with sophisticated NPCs, so stay on guard when this one launches into early access also on the 23rd. And who doesn't need another deck builder in their lives, am I right? How about dealing out some dough for Rune Coliseum next, which seems to have real-time combat of sorts mixed into the gameplay. You'll need to stay focused to survive this Coliseum of Horrors. Lucky for you, there's plenty of equipment to be earned, and runes that will make you even more powerful. 
It'll be important to take advantage of everything if you hope to survive this early access release. Moving right along to the 24th, we have another early access title, and this time it has a lot of looting and shooting going on. It's the Forever Winter. Ooh, that sounds awful. Here, you can co-op with friends to take down enemies on the battlefield. Enemies in Forever Winter coordinate to work against you in battle, survive the fights, loot useful items from the dead, and live to see another day. Now I know there's a lot of games on the list this week, but don't get too greedy and save some room for Greedfall 2, which falls a bit more into that AA category. Starting out in early access, this epic RPG is naturally the follow-up to the original Greedfall, but acts as a prequel to the original game taking place three years earlier. The game is all about you shaping your destiny. You make the choices, decide who lives and dies, and choose just about every attribute of your main character come together with a team of warriors and battle together for your lives to save the dying world. Alrighty then, Bloomtown, a different story is next on our list. It's blossoming onto PC and consoles on the 24th, featuring turn-based combat with demonic monster taming and even some social RPG elements. There's a horror theme to this one that I find quite charming as players take control of siblings Emily and Chester. Visiting their grandparents' town, they soon discover that children have been disappearing and demonic encounters are becoming more frequent. It's up to you and your friends to solve the mysteries of Bloomtown and save the day. Perhaps tabletop games are more your speed. Well then, Worlds of Aria could be the game you've been waiting for. Go it alone or join up with a group of friends. You'll have plenty of options with online, local, and cross-play when the Switch version launches. The fantasy setting of this one looks like a ton of fun, and there's a total of 12 unique characters to choose between as you traverse deadly dungeons in a party. It sounds like it might be worth rolling the dice on this one, pun fully intended. Now you know I can't resist some glorious pixel art and 2.5D RPG action. Beyond Galaxy Land blasts off on September 24th. Beyond Galaxy Land tells the story of Doug, a high schooler that gets whisked away on an intergalactic adventure to save Earth, with a little help from his pet guinea pig, Boom Boom. This one is meant to be a nod to the sci-fi classics with tons of modern flair. You've got your standard turn-based combat, wild boss battles, and even some creature taming elements. I can't get over the stellar use of pixel art in this one, and that pun was only partially intended. Get ready for some crazy bullet hell action in Cyber War Neon City. In this game, the world has been completely overrun by robotic monkeys, and now a clone alongside a shark weapon are tasked with saving the day. Boy, trying to describe this game makes me sound like a crazy person, doesn't it? Combat looks tense and fun, with players having a lot of upgrades to choose between. The game also changes with each run, keeping things feeling fresh. All told, this title looks like a literal blast, and one that is instantly going on the old wish list for me. And just a quick reminder, folks, that you can support independent content and keep the lights on here at I Dream of Indie Games by heading over to patreon.com slash I Dream of Indie Games. By doing so, you'll be able to gain Discord access, early shows, this show, in fact, early and ad and sponsor free. Best of all, you'll be supporting Indie Visibility. Thank you for all you do. Your new indie gaming community is waiting for you. All right, then, that's enough quacking out of me. Let's get ready to quack a smile on September 25th as Duckside enters early access. Duckside has it all. PvP action, crafting, silly hats, you name it. Play as a duck and don't be a chicken as you face off against your foul foes on the battlefield. Honestly, the puns on the Steam description alone have me at least curious to check it out. I was quacking up learning about how deep this combat actually is. I'm not usually one for online multiplayer, but I've gotta say, they sold me on the charm with this one. Woo, I know these videos seem to be getting longer and longer each week, but there are just so many awesome indie releases this fall. Now's a great time to take a quick stretch so you can rally for the next release. All set? All right, let's do it. Drive Rally, also dropping on the 25th. Hashtag Drive Rally, I should say, is an arcadey rally racer set in the 90s, so you just know it's going to have that nostalgic flair. There's tons of diverse racetracks, customizable cars you can build from the ground up, different co-drivers to cheer you on, and perhaps knock you back a few pegs, and some awesome retro Easter eggs for the die-hard race fans among us. I'm revving up to get my hands on this one soon. 
The R Enthusiasts will be eating good this week too with Sugar Mess. Let's play Jolly Battle, a sugary sweet first person candy shooter. Take down all manner of wacky enemies and utilize a variety of goofy weapons in this virtual reality world. This one isn't just a shooter either. Solve puzzles, drive around the kingdom, and even play rhythm games. This one seems like a sweet treat for fans of virtual reality looking for some light-hearted shooting antics. Okay, I hope you're not tired of exploring outer space yet because an extraterrestrial deck builder is launching on September 26th. Breachway is a sci-fi roguelike with turn-based card combat, resource gathering and management, and strategic gameplay that should appeal to tactical fans of all kinds. Think on your feet and make sure you get your priorities straight as you watch out for the well-being of your passengers and the strategies of your enemies so you can be victorious in space combat. Already reviewed on the channel, fans of the notably hardcore Contra series, see what I did there? You'll get it Contra fans, are in for a meaty treat when Iron Meat drops on September 26th. No procedural generation detected here as you work your way through expertly crafted levels and brutal bosses to come out on top of the meat pile. If you are looking for more information on this nostalgia stained adventure, do check out the full review. I'll put a link in the description box below. It's been live for a while on the channel, but spoiler alert, this game is great and I highly recommend any fans of the Contra series or other similar retro run and gun shooters to check it out. Now we're heading into the heart of the spooky season and no better way to start than with the disturbing looking mouthwashing. Trapped in space, you and your crew have limited supplies and find yourself caught up in a living nightmare. This game looks completely insane and from the first moment I saw the trailer, I was dying to play it. Who doesn't love a good disturbing horror game after all, right? The visuals and sound design really get under my skin. Ugh, just look at that not so beautiful footage. I think I need to rinse my mouth of this one and move on to the next release. Also on the 26th, if you haven't had enough tactics, we have 63 days providing you with some real-time strategy goodness, but this time with a World War II backdrop. Implement your strongest strategy, be it stealth, brute force, or recruiting allies in order to survive. The historical setting of this title isn't exactly a novel concept, but it's refreshing to see a more tactical approach to the genre that implores players to be resourceful in their quest for independence, even using the environments of the battlefield to their favor. Alright, alright, enough tactics, let's shoot some monsters, say in a survival horror setting perhaps? Zero Protocol is set to release on the 26th, following in the footsteps of other classic 3D horror titles. You're tasked with discovering the mysteries of a research complex in the Arctic as you try to hold on to your sanity. The environments look cold and desolate, there are definitely some eerie life forms sulking about, and I can almost guarantee there will be some sort of codes to crack and doors to unlock. Just a hunch. Next up on the 26th, what's left of my voice here, The Nameless Slay Dragon is a story-rich, turn-based RPG where you have to figure out how to slay the dragon. I guess you could have probably guessed that from the title, right? This won't just be a battle that requires brute strength, however, as you'll need to be observant, communicate, and use all of the skills that you learn across your adventure. There is a heavy emphasis on player's choice here and some pretty intricate player progression with over 20 classes. Of course, cooking, crafting, potion making await as well if you're brave enough to take on the beast. There just might be more than one way for this story to end. Let's head over to Realm of Ink on the 27th. It's an action roguelike that puts players in control of the Swordsman Red, who can be equipped with up to nine different weapons and forms to take on the Fox Demon. But things might not be as simple as they seem as you quickly discover your destiny is predetermined by a book. Can you break yourself free from the constraints of destiny and take on fate itself? In order to do so, you'll need to hone your craft, enhancing your skills and abilities along the way with over 130 different perks. Oh, also there are adorable ink pets to fight beside you. Sold! Next up, we're gonna travel to Tokyo, but with a bit more magic. Reynatus is the latest action RPG from publisher NIS America releasing on the 27th. The people of this fictional world have been banned from going out at night, but you best believe that doesn't stop them. Some of the folks of this world fear magic, while others think it will set them free from oppression. These two different worldviews translate to two different battle modes, liberated and suppressed, which is an interesting twist on the turn-based genre. This looks like a really fascinating RPG with a lot to discover. Fans of Ultimate Zombie Defense, rejoice! Ultimate Zombie Defense 2 is hitting early access this week with even more 4-player co-op zombie killing action. Build bases, battle bosses, and try not to die as you traverse the modern European streets. 
Looks like there's going to be a ton of enemy variety this time around, and plenty of weapons and customization options to mow your foes down with. Who doesn't love taking out some frustration on the undead? Moving right along, take control of the Summoner in Umbra, the last Summoner. Whoa, way to state the obvious, Joe. This strategic RPG will feature turn-based combat as you explore a variety of areas and take down massive bosses. While the main quest will be plenty long, there will also be optional side quests if you're brave enough. The game is planned for early access for its first six months, so if it looks interesting to you, consider supporting the dev's journey towards 1.0. Will you be summoning the courage to at least add this to your wish list? Alright, that was our most followed and hyped indie releases for this week, but here at I Dream of Indie Games we are of course about bringing a voice to as many indies as possible. Now let's get into some of the smaller releases this week, and because a few of you have been requesting it, I'm going to narrate every dang game on here for you, or at least I'm gonna try to with whatever is left of my voice. I'll give it a shot, alright? Just like the previous games, there will be links for you to add them to your wish list. Here we go! On the 23rd, players can add action RPG Far Horizon to their indie gaming collections. The game takes place in space and has you traversing islands, battling aliens, and relying on your crafting skills. Created by a small team of two, Far Horizons allows for tons of character customization and will also feature many puzzles and intricate systems for you to explore. From Indie.io, a death in the red light takes place in the infamous red light district and puts you in the shoes of a grizzled detective trying to turn his career around. While on the case in Amsterdam, you'll need to take down fiendish puzzles while dealing with some of the most depraved people on the planet. Moving on from that, nobody said working on the ranch would be easy. Welcome to Nanano Dream Ranch. Encounter friendly and not-so-friendly neighbors as you try to build relationships and maybe even fall in love. Raise animals and restore your town to greatness. Cook delicious foods, enjoy town events, and of course, go fishing in this latest farm sim. Pick a card, any card, in Dark Sky. Here you'll take part in grid-based combat and learn important tactics that will devastate your opponents. Be smart about who you pair together with in this RPG deck builder, as characters harmonize differently with one another. Watch your enemies every move and mix decks as you grow stronger in this release from Ganymede Games and Midwest Games. Another horror game for you indie fans, Skyward Extraction will be launching on the 24th. Uncover the mysteries of the Stormwall as you attempt to find long-lost treasures. Rely on various tools and upgrade your ship on your quest for Skystones. A grapple mechanic will eventually be revealed, along with other upgrades for your character. But beware, evil lurks across these procedurally generated maps, so maybe grab yourself a co-op partner for this one. If that wasn't your style, maybe take control of a young accountant in the 2D platformer Somnibuster, which looks very adorable. After encountering a firefly, you find yourself in the world of Esperanto, armed with a magical broom. Now you'll need to escape this dreamlike state using your newly discovered skill set. Your broom has many uses, such as being able to launch you into a cannonball mode, or pogo you about ducktail style. A murder is afoot on the 25th in Murder on Space Station 52. Escape the keychain killer, a disturbing murderer who leaves keys in victims' wounds. Play as Edward Locke and explore this gorgeous looking world that features hand-drawn art and a captivating story. Gather up evidence, walk about the station, and solve this murder mystery full of puzzles and style. Fans looking for a different kind of exploration puzzle game should take note. Or maybe simple arcade action is more appealing to you than murder, I don't blame you there. Why not check out the small indie Balling Up, which has a bit of a super monkey ball vibe to it. Obviously this is a pretty small indie team behind this one, but honestly the gameplay looks fun, easy enough for anyone to pick up and play. But maybe you'll pick up this title instead of rolling balls around. How about Din's Champion, another RPG entering early access? Din's Champion will have you exploring a large world and making choices that will change how things play out. The world of Valeria is vast and full of monsters and bosses to tackle. Players will have plenty of crafting and weapon options and can even have a friend join the action in co-op multiplayer. Okay then, try to sink your opponent's battleship in Battleships and Carriers 2. This naval strategy game will feature over 70 different types of ships and plays out much like a classic board game that I'm sure you're familiar with. There will also be various mission types throughout the campaign, including conquer and kill them all. If you would rather see the ships from above, take a ride on a hot air balloon in Hot Air Balloon Simulator. Taking place from the first person perspective, you'll fly across various landscapes, enjoying the sights and sounds. Players will also need to gather wood and keep their balloon afloat. You can also read books as you glide through the skies freely. Very interesting. 
Survival RTS Deep Among the Swarm also launches on the 25th and will have you battling back endless hordes of enemies. With tons of weapons and upgrades to choose from, how you hold them back is up to you. Having a well-built base is going to be key to your success in this release from Pebble Mountain Games. And who doesn't love a nice story? An everyday story is a lovely looking story driven puzzle platformer that will put you in control of an origami bat, wooden boat, or a tin soldier and have you traversing your past memories in hopes of regaining them. The charming art and premise of this indie release have me eager to check it out for myself. We were in a hot air balloon a little bit earlier but maybe you want to take to the skies again this week with the release of Skies Above. This 2D action title will have you battling back bots attempting to protect a mighty leviathan. The combat is the main focus here with plenty of combos and powers to defeat your foes with and some solid looking pixel art to boot. Maybe you love motorsports, well then rev up for Golden Lap, a charming little motorsport management title. You'll be in control of your team entirely, making major decisions such as how much money will be spent, gain sponsorships and be ready to deal with plenty of car related drama. Spicy. Lead your team to the top and take home a championship on the 26th. Gosh darn it, this is a lot of games and there's another one coming to all major platforms. The holy gosh darn is charming. It's a narrative action adventure with a very unique premise. You have six hours before heaven no longer exists and need to save it before time is up. This means traveling through hell and back to do so. Take control of Cassiel and rock through this time traveling adventure that looks most excellent. If you still need more exploration this week, maybe Exographer can grab your interest. Explore a bizarre planet across an alien world while acquiring new powers. The game will feature 20 different levels across 6 atmospheres and have plenty of puzzles for players to solve in a non-linear fashion. Fun side note that the composer of this title also worked on Stray. If you crave a turn-based RPG that calls back to the past but adds a unique element of strategy, you'll want to have Dragon Nero on your radar. Five heroes will attempt to save the world of Erendar from evil forces. Each character comes with a unique story arc and the game features a combination of handcrafted and procedurally generated dungeons. This next title doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but Alruna and the Necro Industrialists is a Metroidvania that prides itself on being somewhat broken. Featuring over 200 rooms, players will need to discover exploits and break sequences as the story doesn't care what path you decide on. Part of the fun is not knowing in this very unique looking title that prides itself on its bugginess. Or maybe take control of a sailor in Choice of Life, Wild Islands. After a terrible shipwreck, you'll need to survive stranded on an island. Work hard and survive from nature in this non-linear title that features some lovely 2D art and countless ways to meet your demise. Fun. Alright, back to the retro gaming goodness in Coin Op Vice a 2.5D title that has deck building elements and features well over a hundred minigames. These short burst experiences will provide your character with various weapons and upgrades. You are a detective of the 80s in this procedurally generated world that relies on limited colors, sprites, and visuals that are overall inspired by ZX Spectrum, Apple, Atari, and more. It's hard to believe that there hasn't been a game called UFO yet, I'm sure there has to have been, right? Either way, it's even harder to describe this title. UFO seems to take place in a dreamlike world and is a visual novel of sorts taking place through the thoughts of a middle school student. I don't have too many details on this one as the Steam page is rather mysterious, but maybe that's part of what makes this an intriguing release for this week. There is no shortage of survival, folks. We have even more for you with Survival Story. Through this open sandbox, you'll take down zombies, try to find food, and craft a variety of weapons to help you survive against the undead. I'm always down for another zombie-themed game. Add this one to your wish list if you are too. And from zombies to another card game. In the world of Isle of Swaps, you'll need to collect critter cards for the popular new game that's been released. Much like other games of this genre, you'll need to pay attention to each card's attributes as you toss them down and take down your opponents. Get a powerful deck and become the master of Critter on the 27th. Ghost hunting time, two friends set out together in The Phantom Fellows. This narrative adventure offers a comical story and various playstyles, including an option to play it as a point and click. You'll swap between two different characters across seven different days, solving a variety of different puzzles. Should you get stuck, the game does offer a hint system as well. It's been a while since I've played a point and click, so maybe I will make this my next one. And it's Looney Tunes time! Hit the courts with your favorite Looney Tune character in Looney Tunes 
Tunes Wacky World of Sports. The Looney Tunes will take part in zany versions of basketball, tennis, soccer, and golf. I love video game golf, by the way, just a little side note there. The game features four-player local co-op, and of course, the courts will be full of cartoony obstacles to avoid. This looks like a blast, and we hope you had a blast finding the next indie release of your dreams. Dang, I did it. 50 releases, all fully narrated. You can't say I don't love you, folks. 